Okay, you guys, what is up? The King of Lightning is here today to do Toriko Chapter 213 Review. Now, this, first of all, I do want to say that I'm actually really happy that the Toriko Chapter came out today as opposed to 2013, which what I uh, what, which what I originally thought. Because when you look at the chapter last week, the chapter last week says that we won't return until after the new year. That's what it fucking says. So, one would assume that, okay, that means 2013. But apparently, it was only a week. So, I don't know what happened exactly. I don't know what, like what's going on. But, I think that it... I'm not too sure how the Japanese calendar system works out. But either it's that, where, like, the Japanese calendar, like, the actual New Year's was, like, last week. Or... It was some kind of holiday or a festival of some kind. But either way, uh, Mitsutoshi couldn't do the chapter last week. So again, like, I don't know why. But regardless, I am still happy that the chapter came out two weeks as opposed to like a month and a half. So again, good shit. I like that because Toriko is my shit. People, one, two, three. Sekai wo. That's right. All right. Now, this week's chapter, overall, okay. It was overall okay chapter, you know, like nothing really extravagant happened. But, and, and I guess you could say that the talking with the chefs at the beginning was not necessary. But even though it wasn't necessary, it was still beneficial for... The character growth and character interaction between the chefs and with Komatsu himself. So even though, in a sense, it wasn't necessary, it was still beneficial, regardless. And seeing a conversation between the two the two top chefs in the world right now, Setsuno and Zaza. Now see, big dogs. You know, like they are the kings. Like they are literally they, they are literally the king and queen of the cooking world. And to see those two talk about passing on the torch, but Setsuno, because he's Zaza's, he says that. He says, should we pass over the torch to the up-and-coming chefs? You know, like the younger guys. But Setsuno says something that's very, like, what she said was very impressive. Very, very, very impressive, right? She said, do we stop eating? No, we don't stop eating. So, why should we stop cooking? And I was like, oh, Satsuno. Because the thing here is that, in her mind, cooking is a full-time job. And when you retire is when you die. Because when you die is when you stop eating. And cooking is there so you can actually eat good, adequate food. So, like, you know, I like that. Like, I do like that, you know. Like, she doesn't play any fucking games. This is a life and death fucking deal. This is a life and death deal. The only time you stop is when you die. And since, you know, like, you can see the dedication and the passion and the passion that she has for cooking by this simple notion that because you eat, you must cook. And you can only stop cooking when you die because you stop eating when you die. So I like that. I really do. And then... The thing here is that as they're talking, she makes the cut. See, Zaza says, okay, fine. So, you know, we're not, we're not going to pass over the title of Super Chef. And then she's like, well, you're not getting it either. Because you only won like the last three times because I wasn't there. And he's like, oh, really? Huh. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So we're going to we're gonna sell this shit right now. It's so, so like, it's, it's good. It's good. I like it. Competition Fierce competition between the two top dogs. Love it. Nice. Very nice. And, you know, like, again, like, it was very cool to see. And after that, well, actually, no, let me, let me backtrack, right? Before they show us the chefs, we actually see a scene of Rin Mansum and she, uh, I think his name is, uh, she, 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 yeah, she. And if you don't know, she is the vice captain, no, the vice president of the IGO, 
So he is right underneath Ichiraya. And two things happen. Number one is that Rin is apparently controlling. She's trying to tame these creatures that are trapped in this cage. That's number one. And number two, because these creatures are apparently are essential to the cooking festival right now. Because right now, Rin, Mantum, and she and, and uh, Shiji, they are not in the festival area. They're not there, but rather they're somewhere else. I believe I believe that they're still at Mansum's base, and then they're gonna leave right now with, with these creatures, which I'm assuming are the ingredients. And we see Shiji, and he is looking, and he is standing at the sky. Well, no, standing at the sky. He is standing on the rooftop, looking at the sky, and then he says, "This will be my last feast." Now, this would imply his death. Or something, or, or something of that nature. Because realize that Setsuno said, she, she said, that the only time you stop eating is when you die. And in this sense, if this guy says that it's going to be his last feast, his last meal, then he is foreshadowing his own death. Now, why would he do that? I'm not too sure. But clearly there's a serious situation where he feels that he is going to guarantee die. And this may involve either gourmet world stuff. Um, this may involve something, something, something to do with the cooking festival, involving the guru who may or may not be there, or someone trying to, you know, fuck it up in a sense. This may involve the Bushuk Yukai, you know, star, starjin. That's right, starjin. Who knows? But like, we'll see. We'll see. But right now, apparently. The vice president of the IGO, Shiji, he has predicted his own death, and where this goes, we'll only see. I mean, we can all, all, all we can do as fans is sit down, read, and wait. That simple. Now, after the whole entire scene with Zazas and Setsuno, the announcer announces the first section of, of the competition, and I assumed, I assumed. That they were gonna go to sections, go to go to the cutting board, and start making the craziest shit. But no, a fucking triathlon. Fuck it. Yeah. Fuck it. Why not? Yeah, a freaking triathlon. And I'm like, what? And Kamaji's like, what? Like, like it's like, no. Like, this is not what the. I haven't trained for a triathlon. That was not the plan. And the thing here is that everybody else but him is freaking the hype. They're like, yeah, fuck yeah, yeah. You're know, like everyone's pumped as fuck, and it's like, what? Like so, so. I mean, <laughs> Kobachi's fucked. Like, I, I don't know. Like I wasn't that he's fucked, but I don't clearly see him getting first place. No sorry, <laughs> not even top ten, not even top fucking thirty. <laughs> no way. But um. And the thing here is that Komatsu, because according to the announcer, apparently, apparently, during the triathlon, 50% of the people are out. And it's like, how? Like, you're going to show, you're going to, either they quit, or I think that, I'm not sure what happens, but either, I think it's the first 50 that make it, are actually in for the actual cooking portion. And then the others who don't make it in time, they get, you know, they get kicked out. Or it's 50 people normally quit in the middle of the triathlon. I'm not so sure which one it was. But either way, the state this is a high stakes competition, Komatsu. High stakes, man. I and Komatsu, when they're on the beach ready to swim, there are some people, actually most of the people there. Are in their regular attire and shit. They're in the regular attire with the actual, you know, bims on, and they're ready to do their shit. And Komatsu's is in this. <laughs> he's in his fucking trunks, and he's like, "Why?" Like, like he has his face on, and he's like, "Yo, like, why am I here? Like, why the fuck am I here?" So, like, it was really funny. It was really funny. I, I that was hilarious. 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 <laughs> Nah. So, but yeah, I'm done. I mean, because other than that, there's a because I could go and try and indulge myself into the why she, uh, why Shiji would uh, foreshadow his own death, but at the same time, 
when it comes to the character Shiji, we don't know enough. We, we just simply put, don't know enough. All we know is that he is the vice president of the IGO, and that's it. So, we'll see, though. Like, we'll see. But right now, Komatsu is going to be in this competition. What I will say is that somehow, if in, if in fact, if in fact it is the top 50 guys who are the ones who make it to the competition for the, for the cooking portion, then Komatsu somehow, some way, using food luck, you mean food luck, food luck, will somehow be in the top 50. Even though, physically right now, physically he's probably the weakest dude there. Including the females and the grannies. <laughs> including, especially the grannies. Because in Toriko, when you're a granny, you're fierce. You are fucking fierce, right? Ever, um, if you guys don't remember, Chio, lady, Chio, yeah. Fierce. If you're a granny, if you're a grandma, if you're like a hundred plus years old, you are fucking devastating. And it is scary as shit. So, Komatsu is the weakest dude physically here. So, the only way he's getting through is if Fulak occurs, like some big ass fish carries him towards the freaking goal. There's the only. <laughs> or some other crazy shit. But yeah, I'm done. So, King of Lightning, be sure to, of course, rate, comment, and subscribe as always. And I'm signing out. Peace. And you have a nice day. On the way. On the way. Yeah.